This video will show you how to start your IV infusion on the Iton Medical Sapphire Pump. Please follow all instructions shown in this video. Administering home IV medication on the Sapphire Pump can be safe and easy with proper instructions. Your home health nurse will be available to instruct you on the procedure following discharge and will visit weekly and as needed for your catheter dressing change or any labs that your doctor has ordered. If your medication is refrigerated, remove from the refrigerator two to six hours before administering, as instructed on your medication prescription label. Place the bag of medication on a clean, dry surface to warm to room temperature. Please begin by preparing your work surface by cleaning the area thoroughly with soap and water or a disinfectant wipe and drying thoroughly. If you were provided with a placemat, arrange the placemat on the clean, dry area and thoroughly clean your placemat with soap and water or a disinfectant wipe and dry thoroughly. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds and then dry your hands. Use a separate towel to turn the faucet off. Gather your IV therapy supplies. These should include your bag of medication, sapphire pump, charging cord, pouch or large backpack, IV tubing administration set, antiseptic wipes, one saline syringe and one light blue sterile cap if the same tubing will be used for your next dose. Please note, if your tubing is disconnected from your IV catheter and not used until the following day, or if the medication is TPN, you will not reuse your tubing for your next dose. Check the medication prescription label on your medication bag for the correct patient name, expiration date, drug, and frequency. Inspect the bag of medication for any leaks or particulate matter. If you find any abnormalities in your medication bag or label, Contact your pharmacy at the phone number on the top of the prescription label. Some medications will be arranged on an IV pole rather than placed in an ambulatory pouch or backpack. Your nurse will set up the IV pole for you. Prepare a pre-filled syringe of sodium chloride, also known as normal saline, by holding the syringe upright. Remove the cap of the syringe and gently pull back on the plunger. Then, gently push forward on the plunger to expel any air that is in the syringe. Do not touch the tip of the sterile syringe. Recap the syringe. Remove trash and clean the area as you go. Remove your sapphire tubing from its packaging. Insert the IV tubing administration cassette at an angle by placing the saddle in first onto the round metal pegs at the bottom of the cassette's housing. Make sure the arrow on the cassette is pointing down towards the bottom of the pump where the on-off button is located. Press the cassette into the cassette housing by hinging it inward until it clicks in place like this. Then close the safety door, ensuring it clicks closed. Remove the protective tab from your medication bag's tubing spike port. Remove the cover from the tubing spike, then insert the spike into the entry port using a pushing, twisting motion. Be careful not to touch the spike. Turn the pump on by pressing the on-off button. Before beginning your infusion, you will need to prime the tubing. Priming fills the tubing with your medication and removes all the air from the tubing. From the pump's home screen, press the Prime button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. The pump will alert you to disconnect the tubing from the patient. Press Prime because you have not yet connected the tubing to your IV catheter. Then, the pump will begin priming the tubing. If your tubing includes an inline filter like the one shown, you will need to hold the filter with the arrow pointing up to allow the fluid to fill the chamber and force the air out.
the pump will automatically prime a preset amount of medication through your tubing. If the tubing is primed before the preset amount is reached, you can press Finish Prime and then OK. If not, once the preset volume is reached, press OK at the completion of the prime. When the tubing is filled with medication, priming is now complete. If not, you will need to press Prime again and repeat the process until the tubing is fully primed. Scrub the injection cap of your IV catheter with an antiseptic wipe vigorously for 30 seconds. Then let air dry for 60 seconds. If your medication is TPN, you will need to repeat this step using a second antiseptic wipe. Flush your IV catheter with the prepared sodium chloride. Push and twist the saline flush syringe onto your IV injection cap. Flush using the push-pause method as instructed by your healthcare professional. Then, remove the syringe from your IV catheter. Scrub the injection cap of your IV catheter with an antiseptic wipe vigorously for 30 seconds. Let air dry for 60 seconds. If your medication is TPN, repeat the scrub with a second antiseptic wipe. Remove the protective cap from the end of the IV tubing. Attach the sapphire IV tubing to the injection cap on your IV catheter using a push-twist motion. Be careful not to touch the tip of the tubing. To start your medication dose, press Repeat Last Infusion. When you press repeat last infusion, your pump will either display the pump's settings or displays the no symbol and reads, air detection is set to off. If your screen displays the no symbol and reads, air detection is set to off, use a set with air eliminating filter, you must verify your tubing has an inline filter. All sapphire inline filters like this one are air eliminating and will not allow air to pass through the filter to your IV catheter. If your pump has this alert and your tubing does not have an inline filter, do not start your medication dose and call your pharmacy at the number listed on the top of your medication prescription label. Once you have confirmed your tubing has an inline filter, press OK. When the pump parameters show on the pump screen, compare them to the medication prescription label infusion parameters. Contact your pharmacy if the pump and medication label do not match. Your pharmacy phone number will be on the top of the medication label. If the pump settings are correct, you will press OK. Please double check that all the clamps on your tubing are open and press Start Infusion. The display screen may enter a screensaver mode with a dimmer screen showing the rate, or the screen may turn off while running. If this occurs, the green light on the sidebar will blink to indicate that the pump is still running. You can press the on-off button if it has gone dark. If your medication is not attached to an IV pole and you have a pouch or a backpack, you can now place your medication bag and pump inside the bag during your infusion. Should an alarm display during your infusion, you must press mute at the bottom of the screen before clearing the alarm. After the cause of the alarm is corrected, press OK to dismiss it, then press Request Continue, followed by OK to resume your infusion. IV administration tubing should be changed daily for TPN and for any therapy where your tubing is removed from your IV catheter between doses. For therapies in which the IV tubing is continually connected to your IV catheter, your IV administration tubing will only be changed as directed on the prescription medication label or by your healthcare professional. 
TPN supplies are single use only and should be disposed of after one use. After you care for your IV, always wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. At the end of your infusion, please watch our video on stopping your medication on the sapphire pump. Proper administration of your medication via the Iton Medical Sapphire Pump at home is important for your safety. Please call your pharmacy if you have any questions or concerns while administering your medication. We are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the event of an emergency, always call 911.